Welcome, dwellers, to another thrilling episode of Basement 1F. I'm your host, Mitch, and with me is the ever-feisty, scary Sally. How you doing, Sally? Well, my tummy is rumbling like a fucking Krakatoa. Hmm. Gross. The wrestling world was in for a shocker last night at the annual Slamdown Showdown event. The decapitators, who once cut through their competition like butter, found themselves at the receiving end of a stunning defeat from the Friends with Benefits, the tag team with the best insurance policy in the game. But it was the main event everyone was watching. Champion Larry the Laser, who apparently won his title in a poetry contest, fell in quick fashion after taking a single blow to the solar plexus from the challenger Big Vic McQuaid. He won after one punch? Yep. Little dude tapped out as soon as he hit the mat. Is he okay at least? No, not at all. Well, from physical pain to emotional, it seems award-winning actor Felix Fizzletop's star has dimmed a bit, thanks to a not-so-flattering audio clip that's been making the rounds. On the set of his latest film, Crown of Caesars, Fizzletop was caught on audio lambasting a fellow actor. I must warn you, the audio is not for the faint of heart. I'm so done with this fucking bullshit! You know, I didn't sign up for this fucking circus. I'm a real actor, and I'm not going to pander to these, these fucking amateurs. You? Who the fuck are you? Well, I'm Felix motherfucking Fizzletop. What the fuck are you doing? Nothing! This is beyond unfucking professional I've worked with some real cock-sucking numbskulls in my time, but this takes the fucking cake. Look at this golden globe! This has weight in this fucking town! You bunch of dickholes! Dude! We could say dickhole? Well, that's definitely a side of Felix we haven't seen before. No word from the Star Trek alumni as of yet. Now, moving on to the spine-chilling segment of the show, Sally, what do you have in store for us this week on Horror Corner? Oh, Mitch, I have a real treat for you today. We're going back in time to 1972's lost classic, Dresser of the Damned. Now, this isn't your typical horror flick. This is a film that takes the mundane and everyday dresser and turns it into a monstrous, flesh-eating entity. The film masterfully builds suspense with victims disappearing one by one, leaving only a pile of clothes behind. The climax, where the protagonist finally uncovers the deadly secret of the dresser, is master class in suspense and horror. The chilling score, the intense performances, and the innovative premise all combine to make Dresser of the Damned a forgotten gem of the horror genre. A carnivorous dresser? That's a horror premise I did not see coming. Well, it was the 70s. LSD was huge. But that is going to wrap things up for us here on Basement 1F. Thanks for watching, and please give us a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the show. Until next time, for Scary Sally, I'm Mitch saying, it's okay to love yourself. It's where you did it that got you arrested. See ya. Bye. You bunch of dickholes!